All right, good morning, everyone. So we're gonna go over um, continuing our joint locks. Today, we're gonna go over arm bar. And the first thing we're gonna look at is uh, what I call armbar number one and two, is the two ways we grab the wrist to execute an arm bar. Then we're gonna do a whole bunch of variations. So a couple things you wanna get used to, this is in sign language, this is called a C. Um, so we're gonna introduce you to a C grab, a C grip. So we're gonna stand side by side from here like this. I'm gonna grab the other person's wrist and I'm gonna come up and four fingers are on top of the hand like this so I can bend this. Okay, big no-no is that no holes in the grip when you hold it. So this is what we call a C grip. Okay, very important. Okay, so I'm gonna do armbar number one. Armbar number one, we're standing side by side. I'm gonna do a C grip, put it on my stomach. I wanna open my hand, my left hand, my wrist bone. Okay, from here, goes on top of the elbow, then it goes a little bit above, and there's a little bit of a hole, kind of a space in there. We're gonna stop right here. Because I'm pushing with my left hand, my left foot steps forward, because the energy travels with the open fingers. From here, I'm gonna step forward to a front stance, then I'm gonna bring him back to a back stance. We're not gonna do takedown yet, but I wanna make sure this is tight to the body, and my fingers are pointing towards him. I'm not bending over. Come on up, please. Sir. Okay, one more time. So I'm gonna reach over, C grip, put it on my stomach, yeah. open hand from here like this, step front stance to a back stance. Okay, nice and straight, come back. I'm gonna have him do it on me. Reach over, C grip, this one, put it on your stomach, open your fingers, right on top. So notice he's gonna, because he's pushing with the right, he's gonna step right foot forward, front stance. Now then step back to a back stance, there you go. Okay, so that's armbar number one. Then we're gonna do armbar number two. There's only two of these grips. Once you get these two, then we'll do all the variations. As I remember, in arm lock, we did blanketing. Okay, remember, to start from the top. So we're gonna to start from the top, grab on top. This is kind of a C grip. Again, no holes in your grips. We're gonna twist it, bring it to your chest. Because it's up high now, it's so my chest. Same left foot forward, step in front stance to a back stance. Still considered an armbar. The only difference is armbar number one, it was down here. Armbar number two, it's up here with a different grip. This is very similar to arm lock when we did this before. So this is armbar number two. One more time, please. Right here, I'm gonna blanket first on top. From here, grab thumb is on top of their thumb right here on the bone. I'm gonna twist it so we get away from the other hand. I'm gonna step forward, open fingers, step forward and back. So that's armbar number one and number two. And... All right, so now that we know um, one and two, we're gonna to refer to that one and two often. So this one is, I'm gonna grab him lapel. When I grab him, because it's already high to the chest, that tells you that's armbar number two. So he's gonna reach over, twist it, already bent tight to the chest he steps in left hand left foot forward front stance to a back stance good go back so that's from lapel right so from here i'm co covering it i'm sorry you're grabbing me right there do the other hand please sir so grab but i'm going to put my thumb between your thumb and the index finger press it down from here i'm going to twist it okay i'm going to step into a front stance to a back stance Okay, that makes it armbar number two. Now, if, if, what happens is, sometimes if I grab, and I won't let him do this, because I just go really hard, he'll just reach over to the other hand. Okay, go under, there you go, come up, still can do armbar number two. Okay, so that's from a lapel grab. Okay, remember, one more grab, that's fine. So remember, my hand is gonna go over. Later on, we're gonna do moves like, you know, I'm hitting to the, to the face and steps, to the eyes, like this, so you kind of get his attention. And remember, human beings are predictable, I want to say animals, right? So if I go for the eyes, he is gonna kind of do this. And that's the motion I want, right? So from here, when he grabs, here, turn it over, step in. So that uh, makes a defense for a lapel grab. And... All right, so now that we've done lapel, we're gonna go over inside wrist. Remember, in any kind of wrist grab, um, you wanna make sure your fingers are wide open because you expand your, uh, your wrist to your forearm and it gives you much better energy. So when he grabs, inside wrist, please. 
So remember, this is inside wrist. From here, the first one we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my palms together. I'm gonna bend my knees and point my fingers up and I come up. So now I'm gonna separate my hands. And because of this grip, this is an armbar number one because it comes to my waistline when I'm doing it, okay? Also, you could do it where you can hold on to this hand. But what you don't wanna do, you don't wanna circle this because they won't let you. But if you drop your knee, bend your knees and drop the elbow, it's a lot easier to come up. Grab, slide my hand up without letting go. Then I step in. So that makes it um, an armor number one as a defense for an inside wrist. Now there's one more on, on inside one. So if, if, when he grabs from here like this, I could go across. See, I could duck under, hit him, now I come back to, again, armbar number one. Notice, so this one is good if somebody pulls you. So from here like this, if I have him and I happen to pull him, he'll go with it, cut me. So from here like to cut me and you end up with an armbar number one when you're doing it. Just make sure that one, the spinning one, come back here, sir. From here like this, watch my left hand. So when I spin, that motion is a cut, and I'm gonna step into it really big. So that would be a defense for an inside wrist, doing an armbar number one. Welcome back. So now we're gonna do a defense against an outside wrist. So when you grab outside wrist, there's a bunch of these, okay? But I'm gonna go over the first few first. So the first one is, from here, I'm gonna put my thumb between the index finger uh, and the thumb, just kind of like the lapel one. I'm gonna put my thumb right here. From here, drop, come up, and guess what this is? This ends up in a armbar number two because it's on my chest right here. There's a couple tricky moves in this one, and that's while I'm doing this, I can drop, come up. There's a little thumb break right here. So if you press it hard enough from here, my thumb right here, press it against it. Now step in to an outside wrist, and if this ends up in armbar number two again, because I'm on top, right, when I'm doing it. Okay, now I could do outside wrist from here, where I end up in armbar number one. It's kind of a tricky one. And that's the webbing of my hand. See right here? I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna give it to this hand, see? When I give it to this hand, I slide up, now I'm ending up in armbar number one. Notice the difference, this is in my lower body now. So one more time. So I'm gonna drop with the webbing from here, come up, give it to my hand, or just place it in my hand. Then I slide up to armbar. That's end up armbar number one. So from here, we could also do the spinning one okay, that we did with the inside wrist one. Okay, so which means with my fingertips, I'm gonna go that way, give it to my other hand. From here, I'm gonna skate, I'm gonna cut. Now I'm gonna end up with the armbar number one again with the spin. Okay, one more time this time. So I'm gonna go that way from here like this, spin out, cut them, step in. Again, that's really good if somebody pulls you, right? The other one is stepping back, which my thumb goes out. So I'm gonna drop, my thumb goes out. I'm gonna step left foot back, twist it. Now here's what's interesting. This is armbar number one also but I'm inside of him. Normally, I'm outside of him. This one requires me to be inside. So from here, so I'm gonna drop down thumb, twist from here. When I step back, see I'm inside of him doing an arm bar. So here's all the ones that I'll go over really quick. So first one, I'm gonna break the thumb to an arm bar. Second one, I'm gonna place it in my hand to arm bar number two. The other one, I'm gonna spin, cut them, and go armbar. Then I'm gonna twist it out, step back, armbar. So these will be all considered armbar. From outside wrist, you can actually use your shoulder also, which means I can go here. That's considered an armbar also, because it's pretty much the same thing as all the other ones. All right, welcome back. So now we're gonna do it against a, an arm bar, against a jab and a cross or any straight attack. Um, least of my favorite moves. So fighting stand. If he does a cross, I can step out, very classical, step out of the way from here like this, grab, step in, 
I got an arm bar, okay? Will it work? And I mean, any, anything could work at the right time, right? So I like to do it with a check. So watch, I can do a check ice strike from here like this, right? Now I can attack it. So I can break it. Now I can step in to, those will be some of the additions that I would do if I was doing it off a punch. So again, if you jabs, I can step out and go to arm bar, or I can check ice strike and go to arm bar when I'm doing it. Um, I could do it from inside also, not recommended. But if you put the crowd across, so I can come in inside, twist it, now it's got to step in to do an arm bar. Not the best one there are, but there are some time that might, that might kind of come handy. Um, this is where I would actually introduce the reverse arm bar also, which is, it's really important. So reverse arm bar, because remember arm bar, we're going straight down. Reverse arm bar will be the other way. So I'm going up from here. So anything like shoulders from here like this would be considered reverse armbar. So a great drill, stand side by side please. So this will be good to lock flow to work on. And that's, I'm gonna step with the opposite hand and foot. Reverse armbar, I'm gonna twist to a regular armbar. I'm gonna slide back, I'm gonna step in. I'm gonna slide back without losing contact and step in. This is a really nice lock flow to be able to set the other person up for an arm bar. So you start with the reverse, assuming that he's gonna resist, which most people do. As soon as you feel the resistance, you spin and you turn it right back when you're doing it. So that would be the way I would do it for jab across and understanding the reverse arm bar. All right, welcome back. I'm gonna do a couple of them from the from the back, um, double sleeve and double wrist. I don't have to really sleeve, so that'd be kind of harder to do. But I'll show you um, kind of variation of it. So if you grab the sleeves, like try to go like this. We have a form in our system called four directional circle from here like this, where we go right, left, right. So it, this is kind of the same thing. So I'm stepping back, circle, and I'm gonna duck under the arm. And when I duck, this arm gets trapped and my hand comes up, and that's still considered an arm bar, okay, with a circle, again. So again, a circle, under, over, and straight down. If he grabs my wrist, these are a couple of my favorite ones, and that's, I can drop my elbows, step out and give it to my other hand, see? When I get to here, I have two options. I can give it to this hand, I can do an arm bar from here like this, or from here, I can just step from here, I can just step inside to an arm bar. So you can do two different ways from the back. Watch again. So I'm gonna come up, elbows up, and I'm gonna give it to my other hand. I can stay right here, turn it to an arm bar. Or I can give it to this hand and do an arm bar. So that would be the double wrist on the back. But the one I kind of like the most is a tricky one. Watch, I'm gonna have you do it this one. Because I know you forgot this one. <laughs> so this one is, you bend your, this elbow on this side. Turn, and you strip my hand off of you. See, once they strip the hand, now it's an inside wrist, outside wrist. So just grab on top, there you go. There you go. You go back to arm bar number one. Watch again. So this time, here's to the other side. So your forearm, open your fingers, and say, um, let's turn so they can actually see it. So, so from here, so you turn around, elbow down, stop right here. See with the forearm, not only you push down, but you pull up with the hand, and that strips the hand. Once you strip it, now it's just a matter of outside or inside wrist, he steps in for an armbar.